Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's your boy Lemoyne Dot Thomas, and I have something special today. We got a special guest. A uh, special guest. A very special guest. Uh, do you want to say who with your name? <laughs> you want to you want to say a little bit about yourself? Uh, okay. How, how'd you come to know this man? Oh, uh, great story. It backs up to okay. well. Let's talk. Let's start with you first. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's start. Yeah, with yeah, you yeah. First. Let's start yeah. Where are you from? What's your name? Where are you from? Okay, so I, my name is Peter Stevens. Uh, you can probably tell from my accent that I'm not from round here. <laughs> where you Where you from, Peter? Let them know where you're from. So, uh, as I jokingly say, about five thousand miles east of here. So I'm okay. originally from England. I from England. Yes, indeed, sir. <laughs> and I've lived in the states now for thirty years. No, you've never thought about going back. I go back. Most years. Oh, okay. okay. Kiss the ground. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank the Lord from there. Yeah, everything. I got you. I got you. Is it true about tea? Is it true about tea? You didn't ask how the England folk. You know how England folks they say like they always with tea and fish yes. and chips. Is that is that true? Uh, absolutely. Okay. So whenever somebody walks through the door in England, the first thing you do is you offer them a cup of tea. A cup of tea. See, like over here, the first thing you do if you're walking to like a businessman's office is he gives you like liquor. And you're like, you just put it. <laughs> like if, you, if, you, if you go back to like the 60s, you watch like TV, they just pour it in there and they hand it to them. That's it. Yeah. That's what we have. We like alcohol over here, I guess. Sound like the good old yeah. days. The That's good funny. old days, yeah. That so when I was college age and doing college age jobs um, in the businesses, they'd mm -hmm. actually have a cart would come round in the morning and the afternoon with a huge pot of tea on it and everybody would stop and have a cup of tea. A cup of okay. tea. All there right. you go. So yes, England is famous for a cup of tea. So Peter. It fixes every problem in the world. <laughs> oh, yeah. a, warm, a warm cup of tea. I, I use other things. <laughs> that is funny. So Peter, um, why did you come here? To the States? Why did you come to the United States? Okay. Did you get tired of the rain? What was it over there? So about 12 months before we came, uh, Jackie and I, my wife and I, we were serving in a church in England. Mm -hmm. And we both began to sense that there was a big change coming for us that was involving my job. Okay. Mm -hmm. And at that point, we thought that would be moving to the head office of the company I worked for. And I lived in the north of England, and that was in the south of England, close to London. Mm -hmm. And so it kind of made sense. But what happened was I received a phone call in about March of 1994 uh, from a gentleman in the States in the company who basically said, we have an interesting job for you here. Would you like that job? Mm -hmm. And in that instance, it was one of those things that sometimes you just know stuff. Mm -hmm. And I just knew that's what God had been preparing us for. And I also knew I was going to get the job in that instant. And six weeks later, I was working here in the United States. Oh, my gosh. So did you move directly to Dallas? Or yes, okay. that's right. Dallas, Fort Worth area. The company I worked for was based in Arlington. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All righty. All righty. So, um, who was your first? You did you have kids at that time? <laughs> we. I do. know some of these answers already. Yes, but I, I, know, I know. You know. know. Show the camera. Yeah, I don't know this. This is. This is yeah, new to that's me. fine. Yeah, we dragged uh, three kids across the Atlantic. Oh my god! <clears throat> we had uh, our eldest was sixteen, then our next was fourteen, and our youngest was twelve. And as I jokingly say. The heel marks of resistance in the Atlantic didn't settle for about 12 months. <laughs> <laughs> they were not looking forward to this. I can imagine. Yeah, that's a big, that's like, I mean, you talk about a culture shock just going from school to school. You yes. talk about moving 5,000 miles into yes. a completely different, yeah, I can understand and that. And the thing that they doubly hated me for was school in England ends at the end of January, mm -hmm. oh, sorry, end of July. And school in America begins again in the second week of August. Yeah. 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 We're back at it. So they had three weeks vacation over Ouch. the summer. Ouch. And that didn't go down well either. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Taking away a kid's summer, yeah. Yeah. So Peter, um, can you explain when we first met? Yes. Okay. Uh, begins with Katrina. Yep. And again, we were in our church and a lady in the church, Karen, uh, Karen uh, she showed up uh, either just one week or two weeks and she was looking kind of, you know, her hair was messed up and her clothes didn't look right, which was totally out of character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I went up to Karen and said, hey, Karen, well, what's the deal? What's going on? And she said, oh, I've got, I've got some people in my house <laughs> and they come here from, uh, because of uh, Katrina. Katrina in Louisiana, um, and yeah. some are relatives and some are friends of them. And I said, well, how many? And she goes, 24. 24. <laughs> yeah. Wow. There's 24 of us <laughs> wow. in a three-bedroom house. And oh, my. my. Eyes yeah. bugged out. I was just like, Karen, where are you putting 24 people in that three-bedroom house? <laughs> yeah, sleeping on the floor. Yeah. Everything. Making pallets. Yeah. Yeah. And so at that point, uh, we galvanized the whole church into action and we, nobody had pl- uh Clothes, clothes other than the clothes they were stood up in mm-hmm. and so we we got everybody the the parents and the children at least two sets of clothes and etc and that's when i first met this then young man <laughs> this uh, then, that, that, yeah how old were you then uh 15 15 i when was katrina what year was that uh 2005 i was three years old <laughs> just just for just for the listeners to be aware loop was a little lad um, <laughs> It was a good while ago. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't remember it. I know yeah. nothing 2005. about two thousand five. Two thousand five. All right, yeah. well there you go. Yeah, I was three. <laughs> so I was three. we're coming up on Next don't year, come. nineteen years. Is yeah, it? yeah, it's getting, it's getting close. Wow. Yeah, that's a, that's a long time. Yeah, it's a, a long time ago. ago. Yeah, but yeah, um, the really main reason um, I wanted all of us to just come together today is because um, a couple of weeks ago, I, I seen a very depressing post and um, we didn't even get to the actual part of the adoption. You can finish. I'll let you finish telling that story. OK, so. All right. So to continue the story, uh, we continued helping everybody and slowly but surely as the months went by, everybody got settled. We got people out of Karen's house. She could get back to a normal life. And then there was this young man left on his own with no parents, nowhere to go. And my wife and I sat down and we're like, there's something about this young man that's different and understanding some of his background and living on the streets and not being at home and being kicked out of his home. Nevertheless, there was something soft about him. And I know he d- probably doesn't want me to say this, oh, but no, he's got it. a really soft heart. This he guy. does. I learned. I learned. I've, hey, I've, nobody I've asked you, Lou. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He'd I'm never glad. admit it, but he's got a soft heart. And so my wife and I discussed it and we thought, you know what, why don't we unofficially adopt him and have him come live with us because he has nowhere to go and we don't want him back out on the streets. And so we we were careful and Lamar told us that for a while he lived with a guy uh, brother, uh, Father Tony, Father Tony in New Orleans, uh, in New Orleans, and he'd lived with him for some time. So I actually called <laughs> Father Tony and said, "Hey, this is what we're thinking of doing. Tell me something about him. He lived with you." And basically, Father Tony said the th- the same thing that we felt, which is there's something special about this kid. He should be on drugs and in a gang, and he isn't. And so at that, with that confirmation from him, my wife and I approached Lamar and asked him if he would come like to live with us and stay with us. And I say yes. Oh. <laughs> and the tears were flowing. The tears were flowing, tears of joy. <laughs> so I have no idea what he thought. He's never told me what he actually thought the moment that we suggested that to him. So uh, I'd be interested me, to know what you actually thought. Okay, so for me, it was... Um, 
everything was a, a culture shock already for me. So like I really I I really wasn't around a lot of white people. <laughs> Um, <laughs> More or less British white a people. British white people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's white. That's supreme white. Yeah, so it was a it. cultural shock the whole time. But just for me, I like, okay, so I can answer this question. Someone asked me about uh, adoption and um, what, how do I feel about what, what they need to do to connect with the child? And I say connection is everything because that's what I had with you and Jackie. And, um, I, I, I truly do feel that if that connection wasn't there, it wouldn't have never happened. You right. know, so uh, I, it was just a feeling like I like I felt like I was put in this position. God, for a reason, God put me in that position. So, uh, yeah, that, I, that's I was truly amazed. Um, it was like, again, it was a whole culture shock. Just just. <laughs> Just living in the household, drinking tea. Lamar, would you like some tea? I, was, I, I loved that. Uh, I, I really loved it. And it, and it actually helped me build uh, a lot of character um, as a person, you know. So, yeah, I, yeah. I love y'all forever for that one. But, yeah, the reason why I wanted you to just come out and tell this story, because two weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, I seen a post about uh, kids being adopted and all of the stories was just so bad. It was like, uh, I was adopted kid. This happened to me. And it basically the, the post was like, just, just, it was just horrible. And all of the bad stories and trauma that kids went through, you know, and I posted on there and I was like, well, I didn't, um, I didn't go through, um, what a lot of them did, but I had loving, adopted parents and uh i just felt it needed that people needed to see that and read it and then when i tag you and you commented though it just the whole post went viral because everyone is like oh peter peter we love you peter we love you peter you know and i just wanted to just uh have you come on and just share that joy you mm -hmm. know and I, I think it actually helps me too because people people don't really realize when i say i have england parents yeah have english parents yeah you know so uh <laughs> Does, and, math doesn't math up yeah you know? it's not really adding up not you know up. so yeah like, i love i love going out to eat with lamar because i introduce him as my son yeah and they're <laughs> like, just like kind of looking, yeah. like looking at us crazy <laughs> oh yeah this is my son yeah don't worry about it uh, I love the shock look you get on people's faces. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, man, I just, I want to say thank you, man. And I want to give you your flowers, man. Give you your flowers while you're here. And I, uh, I greatly appreciate you. I, I, one day, I, one day, hopefully we can get Jackie out to at least take a picture, but Jackie just be at the house chilling. Uh, we got to get Jackie, Jackie out yes. to one day, one of these days, but Okay. Yeah, man. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> she's not leaving. No, nah, she's not leaving. I'm not leaving she's anytime soon. I'm never yeah. leaving. What's yeah. the, never leaving. What's the Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah. Jackie, I'm not leaving. Jackie won't let me take a picture of her, let alone oh somebody God. else. Yeah. So, yeah. Nah. So what? What you got going on, Peter? So. Uh, I know you, uh, Jackie was speaking. She was doing some speaking. Yeah, right? she's speaking at a ladies' event this coming weekend. Okay, right. Um, at the local church that we're in yeah. on Marriage Works. The gotcha. title is Marriage Works because marriage takes work to yes. make it work. Work. Yeah. <laughs> that was simple enough. I yeah. think I, I got it. I got it. <laughs> marriage Works. Do I need to go? I already got it then. That is funny. That yeah, is funny. she is. Yeah. And so, yeah, I'm doing, uh, I'm now fully retired. I have been for two years. Um, I spent my life in the commercial world, uh, in the medical device area. Mm -hmm. All right. I have a PhD, MBA. Uh, He's bragging, ladies and gentlemen. Let him get it off. Go and yeah, talk your stuff. He's got to talk your stuff for a reason. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he, he, he earned those letters. Uh, that yeah. is too funny. But I'm enjoying being retired, and it allows me to spend more time uh, with people teaching in the church and in the churches in our network. Yes, yeah. it's, it's a fun okay. time. Okay. Well, um, I would like to thank you, Peter, for coming out. Um, sharing a story. That's all right. Um, I like again. I just want to give you and Jackie all of my appreciation, all my love. Um, I'm finally happy to be able to sit down, and people can now see see you, 
like face to face, camera to face or whatever, yeah. you know, just to you know hear the story. Mean. Well, thank you for the thanks, but uh, I don't think we thought we did anything exceptional. We just did what, like you said, there was a connection there and it just seemed like the logical thing to do mm -hmm. to invite you in. And, you know, apart from you being a royal pain in the rear, <laughs> For a lot of the time, we yeah. had we had some very interesting conversations. Yes, we have. Uh, but uh, as I said to Lamar when he showed up, I've got good news and bad news. <laughs> I've had three teenagers already. Yeah, so he's prepared. So I know what you're capable of. Yes, he do. Yes, he, <laughs> he do. Might, he might look like a precious little angel right now. <laughs> yes, that's right. So, uh, but yes, it was our privilege. So seriously, yeah. it was our privilege to be involved with you and then 19 years later, as it is now, to see you now and to realize that that small step that we took yeah. has had such an impact on your life. And there were other people around at the same time. Uh, there was yeah. Cindy at the school, I yeah. think that's right. Ms. And Larson, so, yeah. Ms. French. Ms. French, shout out Ms. French. French. There was another teacher too from Mansfield. Uh, you know, when the first school that I, that I went to when I came here, uh, Mansfield, I forgot her name too. I, I've been I've been thinking about that. I, I'm forgetful of names, but there was one teacher from Mansfield that pushed me all the way over here that was working with uh, Miss Larson when okay. we was trying to do the school stuff. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man, it's... Yeah, so there's there's been a lot of people um, to help you during that time yes, and sir. subsequently, and we were just privileged to pay our, play our part and to see you now, it's, it's great, really great. All righty. That's awesome. Well, y'all, this is something special. I just wanted to provide. Don't be, we're not doing a podcast every week. So don't, do not think of that. Do not think of that. I've been uh, wanting to start one. That's, if y'all don't, the voice in the background is Luke. If Luke, if Luke, Luke say, say Luke, hello to the Hello, people. hello. I'm here. I'm the producer, mixer. I do everything behind the scenes. I'm everything. Not, I'm not the one that shows the face. Yeah, that is too funny. Well, thank y'all. Appreciate y'all and have a nice one. Peace, peace, peace.